Welcome to the online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the actual Britain cycle and numerical related to Britain cycle. First, actual Britain cycle. In the ideal cycle, we have assumed that our fluid is the air. But in actual condition, here 1 to 2 process, air is compressed. And after 2 to 3 process here in a combustion chamber, she is adding. So, here 2 to 3 process is a mixture of the air and the fuel, and is a combustion will be start. And 3 to 4 process is the hot gases, and 4 to 1 process also hot gases rejection at lower temperature. Here in a 2 to 3 process, some pressure drop here. In actual condition, we have assumed that the pressure drop is negligible during the heat addition process or almost zero. And same for here, 4 to 1 process in idle condition, we have assumed that here pressure drop in a 4 to 1 process is zero at 8 rejection. So here some pressure losses, here also some pressure losses. and for the compression of the air, we have assumed that here the compressor is process is the isentropic process. But in the actual condition, not possible the isentropic process because here some losses due to the friction of the compression. So here compression efficiency is not 100%. So here some losses. Same here. The, in a turbine efficiency is not 100% so here some losses so here in a compression we have a required more work input in greater than the actual means the ideal condition and here we have a less work output compared to the ideal condition for easily understand here turbine efficiency turbine efficiency is the actual work upon the isentropic work here actual work is the 3 to 4a expansion process and isentropic work here 3 to 4s isentropic expansion process so here heat drop is s3 minus h4 and here is s3 minus 4 h4s in a shown figure here s3 minus h4 and s3 minus h4 here f3 minus h4 is the less amount compared to the f3 minus h4 so here turbine efficiency is less than 100 percent same here compressor efficiency compression efficiency is the isentropic work upon the actual work because here we require the work input not output so we have a ratio of the isentropic work upon the actual work here isentropic work is the H2S to H1 here H2S minus H1 and actual work is to H2M H1 H2 minus H1 so here H2M minus H1 here the more work required compared to H1 to H2S so here compression efficiency is also less than 100 percent or this loss according to the the Compression process and expansion process is not the isentropic due to the some friction losses and efficiency. For this cycle, in a practice, you have derived the efficiency of actual return cycle and also derived the equation of the maximum work at optimum pressure ratio of actual Britain cycle. Next we have discussed the one numerical related to gas turbine. A gas turbine unit has a pressure ratio of 6 bar and maximum temperature of the cycle is 900 degree means 1173 Kelvin. The isentropic efficiency of pressure and turbine are 85 to 90 percentage here and the air enters compressor at 15 degree celsius means the T1 minimum temperature 15 degree celsius 
एट द रेट ऑफ द फाइव के जी पर सेकेंड मीन्स एम एक्वल टू फाइव के जी पर सेकेंड Here fuel caloric value is the 4300 kg kilo joule per kg. So CV value is the 43000, and efficiency of the combustion is the 95 percentage. Here C air value is the one kilo joule per kg Kelvin is the ideal value. Same for the CP gas value is 1.07 kilo joule per kg Kelvin, and our index of the steam is 1.4 here we have find out the thermal efficiency power output air fuel ratio and specific fuel consumption first in so one figure here one to process but here one to dash because of the turbine efficiency and compression efficiency is given so here one to dash compression efficiency is less than 100 And three to four days compressor, uh, sorry, turbine efficiency less than hundred. Here, compression efficiency less than hundred and turbine efficiency less than hundred. First, we find out the uh, all temperature for the isentropic compression process. T two by T one is equal to P two by P one raised to gamma minus one by gamma. Here, pressure ratio is the six bar in the given data. In initial temperature is fifteen degree Celsius, mean two eighty eight Kelvin in a given data. So we find out the T2 value is the 480.53 Kelvin. Same for the compressor efficiency here. Compression efficiency given is 0.85. Here formula of the compression efficiency is T2 minus T1 upon the T2 dash minus T1. We have a T2 value and T1 value. And so we out find out the T2 dash value. T2 dash is equal to Here T2 minus T1 upon the efficiency and plus T1. 288 plus 480.53 minus 288 divided by 1085. So we get the T2 dash value is 514.5 Kelvin. Same we have find out for the T4 value, T4 dash value. Here T4 is equal to T3 into 1 by 6 raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma. Here T3 value is given a data 1173 Kelvin maximum temperature. So we get the T4 value is 703.02 Kelvin. For the turbine efficiency is 0.9 here. T3 minus T4 dash upon the T3 minus T4. T3 value is given. T4 dash value is given. So we have to find out the T4 dash value. Here T4 dash is equal to 1173. Subtract the 0.93 into T3 minus T4. 1173 minus 703.02. So T4 dash is equal to 750.02 Kelvin. So here we have to find out the all the temperature condition. Same for the Energy balance for the combustion chamber means the heat addition process. Here, Mf cross Cv cross the efficiency of the combustion chamber, and Ma plus Mf CpG 33. Here, Ma plus Mf here mixture of the air and fuel, and temperature is 33, and the condition is the gas. And here, Ma into CpA minus T2 dash. Here, condition is the air, and temperature is the T2 dash. We have a CV value from the given data 43,000. NB value is 0.95 percent. MA, IU, MF. We find out CPG value is 1.07. T3 value is 1173. Same MA is equal to 5. And CP is 1. And T2 dash value is 514.5. So here MF value is the 40850 mf is equal to 125.11 mf plus 3703.05. So we have mf value is 0.093 kg per second. So the air fuel ratio is equal to ma by mf. Ma is equal to 5 and mf is equal to 0.093. So air fuel ratio is 53.46. Jam one. Next, we find out the all data 
first is the network output P is equal to WT minus WTC. Here MA plus MF CPG PC minus T4 dash minus MA CPA T2 dash minus T1. We have all the value put in the equation here 5 plus 0 0.096 cross 1.07. TC1173 T4 dash 750.02 MA is equal to 5 CPA is equal to 1 T2 dash is equal to 514.5 T1 is equal to 288. So we have a power is the 1172.53 kilowatt. Next is the heat supply to the combustion chamber is QS is equal to MF cross C. The MF value is 0 0.093 and uh, Calorific value of the fuel is equal to 43,000. So we have a value of the heat supply is 3999 kilowatt. Next is find out the thermal efficiency. Thermal efficiency is equal to power network output to the heat supply. Here network output is equal to 1172.53 and heat supply is 3999. So here the value of 1172.53 and 3999 cross 100 so thermal efficiency of this cycle is 29.32 which the 0.2932 percentage or 29.2 percentage supply of the fuel congestion is equal to mass required for the power here 0.093 cross the 3600 for convert into the hour and power is 1172.53 so the SFC value or supply fuel consumption value is 0 0.2855 kilojoule per kilowatt hour and we already find out the air fuel ratio value thank you